It's day 193 2016 and today we have a new processor, a new software build and a new training program for India. This is Phone Arena Daily. Let's begin. The Facebook Messenger platform, as you know, is already hosting a lot of apps and recently even introduced its own bots and stuff. So Uber has already integrated into Facebook Messenger as of December last year. And now they have added Uber pool functionality to the Messenger platform. So you can pretty much do the same thing that you did, but this time use Uber pool instead of just the Uber classic versions. So Uber pool is not completely rolled out in India. It's being tested in Bangalore and Delhi, if I'm not wrong. So it's basically carpooling inside of Uber and it's definitely going to pick up because that's one of the major business models that Uber is getting at by eliminating the need for a car. So that's the Uber Pool update. Let's move on to the next one. As we had quite expected, Qualcomm has released the Snapdragon 821 which is a newer form of the 820, but doesn't replace the 820. They are very careful to say that. It's got a 10% increase in performance. That's what they say. They're not giving out the numbers, but this says up to 2.4 gigahertz, while the 820 is up to 2.2 gigahertz. And this apparently also has faster clock speeds for the Adreno 530 GPU, which is the same as the one on the 820. So there is a marginal speed increase here, and we expect to see this processor being used in all the upcoming flagships after now maybe so for example the htc nexus might have the 821 the note 7 might have the 821 and a lot of other flagships so that's the snapdragon 821 story not much is revealed it's pretty much the same as the 820 but we'll do benchmark tests and find out if there is any substantial difference miui 8 is the latest iteration of xiaomi's forked android operating system and this has been receiving the beta builds in private till now but today xiaomi has announced that the global public beta is open for a lot of phones so you can view the complete list of phones that are supported in the link in the description below but the list contains a lot of redmi phones right from the redmi 1s to uh, to the notes and also the mi phone so check out the complete list in case you have it you can probably give it a go because public betas are usually pretty solid and the Xiaomi community is pretty robust so you can go to the MIUI forums in the link below and check out the public beta build in case you're interested. Google has announced a new initiative for the country and it's called the Android Skilling Program which is also part of the Government of India's Skill India initiative. So what they're going to do is two things. One is a course. It's called the Android Developer Fundamentals course. And it's going to be out available in a lot of curriculums in public and private universities. And they're also targeting the online and offline training centers. They'll also be offering the second thing, a certificate. It's called the Associate Android Developer Certificate. And you need to pay 6,500 rupees and take an exam to get this. This certificate will hopefully get you into entry level Android jobs. So I wanna ask you this question because I think it's pretty important. So what this Android skilling program is, is very similar to what the IT companies did to engineering courses in the 80s, 90s. Is this going to have the same effect? Let us know what you think in the comment section below and that's about it for the show. Do check out the deal of the day in the link in the description below and we'll catch you later with more technology news.